Welcome back to Slothbox. This channel is proudly sponsored by Lion Paul Security Services and the Excelsior Sporting Club. Oh, that's a good one. Since uh, little Charlo has now taken the place of big Charlo, and it's uh, Jermel. Yeah, Jermel Charlo is fighting, not Jermel, guys. Uh, he's fighting Canelo for the undisputed belts. And I believe that since he's undisputed, Charlo is undisputed for a reason at 154. He's moving up to 168, which I think is kind of crazy, but he he doesn't walk at 154. You know, they usually walk up bigger. He's quicker. Uh, he, I believe, comparison to his brother, I believe he's quicker than his brother. He uses, uh, he has a better ring IQ. And I'm not, you know, no shame on that because they're just different styles. But I think uh, Canelo will still, Canelo's Canelo. Canelo is Canelo, but I think he's going to give him a really good fight. Charlo is not going to back down. He's going to bring out the dog in him. He's going to bring out that grit. Uh, I think uh, Charlo just has to be very careful and very crafty. He has to keep trying not to square up because Canelo is very good at setting traps. And, uh, you know, he likes to start off slow to kind of get the rhythm. And then he will pick up in the middle rounds. I, I mean, I know that I believe Canelo will take the win. I think uh, but not by knockout. I think it will go the distance. I personally would love to see Charlo, you know, set off, set it off, but I know Canelo will probably win by decision. But Charlo, do your thing. I will be cheering for you. <laughs> yeah, with Canelo versus Charlo, I'm, you know, initially my reaction was, oops, wrong Charlo. You know, why are you fighting the guy that's come up from 154 pounds? Still think it's a big jump for Charlo. However, um, if he can put on good functional weight, he's got the style and he's got the pedigree to cause problems. It's just 12 rounds is a long time. And I think the main issue that I've got with the fight, considering Bivol in Las Vegas basically gave Canelo a lesson, and Bivol only won that fight by a couple of points, I don't think Jermel Charlo can be that dominant. So even if he turns in a performance that no one really expects. I'm sorry to sound like the cynic, but I don't think he'll get a decision in Las Vegas against Canelo Alvarez. So I expect a great performance from Jermel Charlo. Uh, Canelo's not been scoring stoppages, so it could go the distance, but I think Canelo will get the decision. Fascinating. Fascinating fight. Um, we're all probably of the opinion that Canelo's starting to slow down a little bit. Uh, I think Bivol obviously showed him showed him the difference, you know, the, the freshness, the weight, you know, it showed him that he wasn't invincible and he couldn't just continue climbing up the climbing up the category. So Canelo has been shown to be human in recent years. John Ryder had some success in that fight, although obviously, you know, he lost the fight. It's interesting to think, you know, Charlo is now moving up and Charlo's a great fighter. They're meeting at a kind of weird time where for Canelo to start cutting weight and going back down to 160 is interesting. Charlo naturally would want to be pushing up to 160 himself. It's it is, it's an interesting fight. Um, I think one man coming down in weight when he's had that much experience and you know he spent a lot of time at 168. Uh, he spent time at 175. I don't know. I think it, it could just be a little bit too much. I think maybe Charlo edges that fight. Canelo might come in and blow him out. It might be too big, too strong. But I think we are starting to see a slight decline in Canelo. And I wouldn't be surprised if Charlo comes in and wins the fight on points. Um, real interesting fight as well. Um, I was looking back at um, some modern instances of when fighters have gone up two weight classes, risen to the challenge. Um, the, the ones that sprung to mind were like when Kel Brook did it against Triple G. Um, I think when Rigondo fought Lomachenko, he was making a, a double weight jump. And also when Mikey Garcia fought Errol Spence, it certainly felt like a double weight jump. And none of those fights worked out well for the guys who were moving up. Um, and boxing history has examples of when guys did move up and do that, although it was a, lo a long time ago um, in general. So just going by that, as good as Jermel Charlo is in his own weight class, and Canelo is definitely showing signs of slippage, um, but he is a natural fighter at super middleweight. Charlo seems a wee bit preoccupied at the moment with Terence Crawford. Um, he's talking about 
moving back down um, after the um, Canelo fight. We've seen fighters before move up significantly in weight, and then when they move back down, there's just there's something missing from them, um, punch resistance wise, etc. So I don't think he should. I know people. I know journalists are asking him about Crawford, etc. So he probably has to speak about it, but he should just be telling them he's fully focused on what's coming up on September 30th. Canelo, it's a massive event, big fight, great opportunity for him. All of that being said, um, Canelo definitely a bit short born. Um, if this was two or three years ago, Canelo, I would be backing Canelo to stop him. However, it's now. I still think Canelo will do it, but it will go to the scorecards and it might be close, but Canelo for the win on points.